Hi everyone, and welcome back to AWS Julie. In this video, I wanna talk about the new beta exam for the AWS Certified Advanced Networking Specialty Certification. My next course assignment involves the preparation for this exam, and here's what I've discovered so far. The current version of this exam was released back in 2019, and it really did need an update. And for those of us that follow AWS and are active in our AWS community, we know how frequently the AWS certification team has been updating their certification exams to ensure that they continue to validate our knowledge of current AWS services, tools, features, new releases, and so on. This certification exam is going to consist of 65 multiple choice and multiple response questions. Most questions are going to have four possible answer options where you have to select the correct answer. And you may see others that have five or six answer options from which you must select two or three correct answers. So that's multiple choice and multiple response questions. And as always, there's no way to tell which questions in these certification exams are scored and unscored. But remember, there is no penalty for guessing. So always take the time to actually read each question, read each answer. And if you don't know the answer, break down that question and each answer and choose your best choice answer or make an educated guess or just wildly guess. And I've actually done all three of those on different certification exams. So let's review what has changed between the current version of the certification exam and this new beta exam and the updated exam that's gonna be released here shortly. So the new updated exam guide only references four domains. The old version, so the current version of this exam covers six domains and the new updated exam guide only has four. Domain one covers network design. Domain two covers network implementation. Domain three covers network management and operations. Domain four covers network security, compliance, and governance. And AWS actually has courses on Skill Builder covering all of these. Now, the old AWS certification course for this is exam is very outdated, but we are going to be updating that course very soon. And when I was looking at the current exam guide and the new updated exam guide for this beta exam, I saw that the subdomains and tasks for each domain, along with the list of services and features for both exam guides is still relevant and it's gonna be fair game for the beta certification and the updated certification when that is released. The AWS Advanced Networking Specialty Exam is definitely gonna test your knowledge of AWS networking services such as your VPC, Direct Connect, Transit Gateway, Site-to-Site -Site VPN, Route 53, and Elastic Load Bouncing. But from y'all's feedback, I've heard there are several new AWS networking service offerings that were launched and released over these past few years. And you should definitely know about those before you sit down and take this exam. And those include, and I'm gonna add a list over here, but one of these that I wanna call out, and let me find it, is the AWS Load Balancer Controller. Now I've heard from three people that that has featured on their beta exam. So I'm interested to hear, and if you have any feedback around what services the questions featured, I would love to hear that as well, because I am working on an exam prep course for this certification. So I wanna make sure that I include everything that y'all need to prepare for this certification exam. And I want to also, before we wrap up, let's quickly look at what we might need to know for each domain. And I'm going to add that over here as well. But for domain one in network design, this domain covers about 30% of the exam content. So according to the exam guide, you should see 20 questions involving network designs. And this domain also covers designing routing strategies and connectivity architectures for multiple VPCs, regions, and AWS accounts. So we need to understand and know how to configure resource sharing across accounts using the AWS Resource Access Manager. We need to know when to use VPC peering, when to use Direct Connect, Site-to-Site -site VPN, Transit Gateway, and AWS Private Link to communicate between our VPCs and our networks. Now, domain two is network implementation. And according to the exam guide, this covers 26% of the exam content. So according to the exam guide, you should see 17 questions 
involving network implementation. And also remember, we need to be able to go back to domain one and use that in this domain as well so that we know how to configure the implementation of routing and connectivity between our on-premise network and AWS using the services that we already talked about, like Direct Connect, Transit Gateway, and Site-to-Site VPN. We also have to understand in this domain, complex DNS architectures using Route 53, hosted zones, subdomain delegation, and conditional forwarding. And this domain also includes automation tasks. And if you look at the exam guide, automation really wasn't included and really spelled out in any particular area of the four domains. But this is the domain where you need to know how to automatically configure your network infrastructure using services like CloudFormation and CloudWatch and so on. Now, domain three, network management and operation, covers 20% of the exam content. So according to the exam guide, you should see 13 questions involving network management and operation on your certification exam. So we have to understand network design and implementation to define and configure our subnets, to manage our routing protocols over direct connect and VPN connections, to define and configure our route tables, to direct our network traffic, and to understand how to enable public and private access to our different AWS services. And I also want to mention that we have to understand VPC traffic mirroring and the use cases under this domain. And I do expect there to be questions that require you to troubleshoot networking issues by analyzing logs. So again, you want to be familiar with VPC flow logs, CloudWatch logs, and also how to optimize your existing network configurations to improve your performance and to reduce your cost. Now, domain four, our last domain for this new updated exam is network security, compliance, and governance. And again, according to the exam guide, this domain covers 24% of the exam content. So you should see about 15 questions involving network security, compliance, and governance on your exam. And under this domain, we have to understand how to secure our AWS resources using security groups, network ACLs. We also need to know how to implement security tools and services like WAF, Shield, and Network Firewall. And we have to know how to configure our network monitoring and logging using services like CloudWatch, CloudTrail, and also Kinesis. So there's a lot there under those four domains we need to know. And remember that this is an advanced specialty certification. So you really need to have the depth and understanding covering all four domains. And unlike the AWS SysOps certification exam, there are no hands-on labs. So again, this exam is just multiple choice and multiple response. But remember, given that this is a specialty exam, you should expect the questions to be longer and you should expect these questions to present more complicated scenarios than you're going to see in an associate level certification exam. And I'll add a link so you can get a feel for what the certification questions are like from the AWS certification team. So most of the questions are going to have lengthy scenarios. They're going to be several sentences long to a couple paragraphs in length. And most of the answer choices that you have to decide which is the best choice answer are going to also be several sentences long as well. So take your time and read through each scenario, each question, and also each individual answer. And make sure that you are processing every word in detail that you read and make sure that you're keeping an eye out for keywords and phrases as well. And probably the best strategy that I've seen going into these certification exams is reading the question, reading the answers, and then going ahead and eliminating the answers that you know are not correct, and then going in and nitpicking the other answers to choose your best choice answer. And I believe that the current version of this exam is going to be retired in July of this year after the new updated beta exam is official. So let's go crush this exam and good luck in your studying. If you have any questions or if you've sat for the exam, please comment below or send me the feedback so I make sure that I can incorporate that in my exam prep course. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope to see y'all again real soon.